All right, so we have seen how a function which is analytic at a point has a well-defined Taylor series and uh, you know, which, which is convergent in some region around that point of analyticity. Uh, so in this lecture, we will see that in fact, it becomes possible to write down a series even about a non-analytic point. So we have seen that you know, uh, regions of analyticity are common, but there are also points of non-analyticity or regions of non-analyticity which are very common with lots of functions of complex variables. And it's useful often to be able to write down a series which is expanded about a point of non-analyticity, but which is valid in some region of analyticity, which is far away typically from this non-analytic point. So the details of which we will discuss in this lecture. Okay, so suppose we look at a, you know, a re I have these, uh, you know, two circles that I have drawn. So there is a circle of radius R1, which is, uh, you know, centered about this point Z0. And then there's another circle of radius R2, which is also centered about this point Z0. So we are given that there is a function which is, which is analytic in this annular region. So as long as mod Z minus Z0 lies between R1 and R2, this function is analytic. Right, so when this is the case, and so you, you can consider some some arbitrary contour, right, which can have you know you know pretty much any shape, and which is a simple closed contour of this kind, and which is positively oriented, and which lies entirely within this region of analyticity. Then at each point in the annular region, so f of z has a series representation. Right, so which we can expand, you know, uh, summation over n going from 0 to infinity a n, z minus z naught, the whole power n, which looks like the Taylor series, but then you will also have these kinds of terms, summation over n going from 0 to infinity b n over uh, z minus z naught, the whole power n. Right, so, so where a n is, uh, uh, so actually this summation, the second summation will turn from 1 to infinity, right? So B, Bn would be defined, well, I mean, there is a the constant term which is already uh, included in the first uh, series. The second series will, will run from 1 to infinity, right? So all, uh, you know, all powers of z minus z naught, uh, which lie in the denominator, 1 over z minus z naught. Now, so the key point is that these coefficients a n can be written down in terms of these contour integrals. So it doesn't matter which contour you take, right? So this is what we learned when we uh, we studied the Cauchy's integral formula, right? So whether you take an, a, a contour of this kind or another contour, it doesn't matter. So there is, this is the principle of de deformability of contours. So these coefficients are written in terms of these contour integrals where you know you divide f of z divided by a suitable power and then you integrate and so basically what happens is all the other coefficients you know all the terms corresponding to other coefficients will vanish when you are dividing by you know exactly the power which is useful for your case so in some ways you are isolating the term uh, you know corresponding to a n and then you know this relation holds and so what is remarkable is, so I mean this is, you know, exactly like the Taylor series itself. This is nothing but the Taylor series. Whereas, you know, these are the, you know, terms which are new in some sense. This is the, uh, you know, this, all these Bn represent uh, the singular region. So there is this inside region which has an, one analyticity or maybe more, maybe more than one analyticity, non-analyticity. And so that's, you know, the, that's the point about which you are, uh, you are trying to find this uh, uh, series expansion and such a series expansion it goes by the name of Laurent series and so it's in fact convenient to uh, you know first of all acknowledge that these ANs are actually nothing but uh, uh, the coefficients which would come out from a Taylor series expansion that's why we also recognize that there is this uh, nth derivative of uh, of f, f, f of n uh, of z naught divided by n factorial, which is which is what would happen if um, if 
R1 is actually zero, right? So it, it can go down to if, uh, you know, this annular re region in the limit can uh, you know go can be squished down to zero, which means well, I mean no, the the inner radius can be squished down to zero. So the annual annular region will actually become the entire circle, which is uh, or the circular region, which is en uh, enclosed by the circle of the larger radius, right? So when that happens, so then we we recognize that these these ans are actually nothing but the nth derivative at the point z0 divided by n factor. But in general, I mean, if the function itself is not well defined at that point at z0, so there's no question of its derivative having a meaning. But if the whole region is a region of analyticity, then you know this term is recognized to be actually nothing but the nth derivative of the function at that point, right? So then you you have only the Taylor series, and all these coefficients b n will vanish, right? When that happens, right? So it's it's convenient to actually think of this Laurent series expansion as just you know this kind of a series summation going from n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity, c n times z minus z naught to the whole power n. So now n can also take negative values. So it's basically the same thing, and then there is just one common expression c n is equal to 1 over 2 pi i you know this contour integral c where is where c entirely runs in the analytic annular region then you have f of z divided by z minus z naught the whole power n plus 1 dz and now n can take all values all integer values 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 so on right so so the key points to emphasize here are you know these a n's and b n's are you know valid even when you have a genuine uh, non-analyticity sitting at the, uh, you know, at the about the point which the expansion is is happening, but also uh, when when the entire region is a region of analyticity, right? So then you have this becomes the Taylor series expansion, and all these coefficients b and simply vanish when that happens. Right, so one way to uh, see this is so if f of z itself is a an analytic uh, function, then if you it, so this dividing by z minus z naught to the whole power minus n plus one is basically like multiplying by z minus z naught to n minus one. So you're multiplying an analytic function by another analytic function, and then uh, Cauchy's theorem tells us that this contour integral has to be zero. Right? So it is actually quite straightforward to see that if the function is analytic everywhere inside you know, the region bounded by this simple contour, closed contour, then for sure all these coefficients bn will simply vanish. That comes as a direct consequence of the Cauchy theorem. But what is remarkable is that we have this you know very beautiful expansion available even about a non-analytic point right so the only uh, thing to take care of is to uh, identify these radii r1 and r2 okay let's look at uh, a few examples so perhaps the simplest example is the expansion of the function e to the z we know that e to the z is entire and it has a valid taylor series expansion about any point so it's mclaren series in particular we have already seen is f of z is equal to summation over z to the n by n factorial and goes all the way from 0 to infinity and this series expansion is valid at any point z which is in the finite complex plane. So now if we consider the function e to the 1 over z, now the above you can think of you know 1 over z as some w which is a complex number and this would also have an expansion about you know w equal to 0 where mod w must be less than infinity according to this exactly this. And then the expansion, actually, it's what is a Taylor expansion in W is really a Laurent expansion in Z, right? So you, you can write it out in one step, and then you have this whole expansion, and we see that every point other than Z equal to zero must be, uh, you know, so this is going to be a convergent series, right? So what was uh, infinity in the earlier example is basically the same role is played by zero. So there is this. You know, what is called an essential singularity sitting at the origin right and so you have uh, you know terms to all orders in 1 over z and so 
for any mod z greater than 0, this is going to be a convergent series. So this is a very simple uh, example of a, of a uh, Laurent series in which the annular region, if you wish, is really, uh, it, it runs all the way from 0 to infinity. Any point greater than 0 all the way to infinity is the annular region, right? Although it's not perhaps the most natural way to think of this mod z greater than 0 as an annular region. Let's look at another example. So here, uh, it's actually already explicitly in, already in the Laurent expansion form because I mean I have this function 1 over z minus i the whole square. So there are no other terms. It's, it is the Laurent series about the point z not equal to i. And there's only one coefficient which is non-zero and that is c minus 2. Every other coefficient is zero. And so we have I mean, we can verify that Cn is 1 over 2 pi i integral, uh, you know, contour integral about this point, bz divided by z minus i the whole to the n plus 3. And so whenever n is equal to minus 2, then you get a 1, everywhere else you get 0, right? So this is something, this is a result we have already seen, right? So whenever you take a point like bz and divide it by z minus i, z minus i, and do a contour integral, that's going to give you 2 pi i, there's a 2 pi i sitting outside, so it will just go to 1, and every other power of z minus i is going to, and in this form of an integral, is going to give you 0. This is a result which we have already seen. Right? So, this is a you know, straightforward example of a Laurent series, about in some sense a trivial example of a Laurent series, which involves just one term. So, let's look at another example which illustrates how you can have, you know, an inner radius and an outer radius and it comes out in a very nice way. There is a, another example where we have, I guess, two explicit singularities. One of them is sitting at z equal to 1 and the other one is at z equal to 2. I mean, you can start with this function one, minus 1 over z minus 1 times z minus 2, but you can easily expand it to this partial fraction expansion as 1 over z minus 1 minus 1 over z minus 2. So you see that this is not really a Laurent expansion, it's just you have two different terms. If it had only one of these, then it would be the Laurent series expansion about that particular point. But you have two of these, so then we have to be, you know, you have to first of all isolate the region of interest. So there is a, a singular point sitting at z equal to 1, and there's another singular point sitting at z equal to 2, and everywhere else this function is analytic. So in fact, automatically we have these three regions of interest, mod z less than 1, mod z lying between 1 and 2, and mod z greater than 2 and less than infinity. Right? So I have a little picture here. So mod z less than 1, you know, this is in fact going to be a Taylor series. So we let's uh, try and expand this function in each of these three analytic regions. So for mod z less than you actually get a Taylor say, or a Maclaurin series if you are going to expand it about and the origin. We are going to expand it about the origin. So you can simply write this down as minus 1 over uh, 1 minus z. And then since we, if we want to consider mod z less than 1, it's convenient to write down the second term as plus 1 over 2. Pull out the 2 and you have 1 minus z by 2. So we have mod mod z is less than 1, so clearly mod z by 2 is also less than 1, right? So mod z is less than 2. Therefore, each of these have this familiar series expansion. So it becomes 1 minus of 1 plus z plus z squared plus so on. And then we have a plus half times 1 plus z by 2 plus z by 2 the whole squared plus so on. That's an infinite series. This is an infinite series. And it turns out that you can add these kinds of uh, infinite series term by term, and then you get 2 to the minus n minus 1 minus 1 the whole times z to the n and z goes from 0 all the way up to infinity. And this is a convergent Taylor or a Maclaurin series in the, re the region mod z less than 1. Now the region between uh, where mod z is between 1 and 2 is an annular region. So this is you know exactly like the picture we first flashed when we discussed how a Laurent series is possible. So here is the region of analyticity and we are expanding about, about the origin, right? So which is, uh, so all the origin itself is, uh, uh, is not uh, non, uh, it, 
the origin itself is actually analytic here but the point is that you know we are looking at this region between 1 and 2 as your region of uh, uh, analyticity and you are expanding about the point is equal to 0 so that's why this classifies as a Lorentz series as well and then there is a non analyticity at at z equal to 1 right so let's see how this, this plays out so the trick here is to rearrange it in such a way that you are true to the region of interest right so if you are in the annular region so mod z is greater than 1 so it's useful to think of this as mod of 1 over z is less than 1 and again mod z by 2 is less than less than 1 right so mod z is less than 2 therefore mod z by 2 is less than 1 so it's convenient to write down this function in this form you know you leave 1 over z minus 1 and then pull out the z and then you get a 1 over z times 1 of uh, 1 minus 1 by z and then you have the second part really is is left unchanged because after all uh, you are interested in the region mod z by 2 is less than 1 and then we use the same rule since 1 over uh, you know mod of 1 over z is less than 1 so you have this expansion 1 over z times 1 plus 1, 1 1 over z plus 1 over z squared so on expansion and then the second one is basically the same because you're still in the region mod z by 2 is less than 1 so then you have to stitch these two together and you get this Laurent expansion now so this is like a genuine Laurent expansion which involves uh, powers of uh, 1 over z and then you also have uh, powers of z so 1 over z to the n summation 1 to infinity and also you have a summation n equal to uh, z to the n over 2 to the n plus 1 so this expansion is going to be valid only in the region between 1 and 2 and then you have the third region of analyticity which also can be thought of as another annular region so as far as the region 2 less than mod z less than infinity is concerned you have these conditions mod of 1 over z is less than 1 and mod of 2 over z is also less than 1 so now it's convenient to actually pull out 1 over z from each of these two terms in the function so we write it as 1 over z times 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 over z and minus 1 over z times 1 by 1 minus 2 over z and then you simply expand using the the one uh, you know familiar series expansion which is like a geometric progression so 1 over z times 1 plus 1 over z plus 1 over z squared so on all the way up to infinity minus 1 over z times 1 plus 2 over z plus 2 over z the whole squared plus so on so thus we have a different Laurent series expansion now it's all in powers of 1 over z and so this is a Laurent series expansion which is valid in this other annular region where 2 is less than mod z less than infinity so what we see from this set of examples is that even though you are really expanding you are finding series expansion of the same function about the same point but in different regions so you get different series and different kinds of series depending upon the region in which you know you expect these series to converge right so in this uh, lecture we have looked at you know the, the idea of a Laurent series and how you know the, the region in which this series is, is valid must be picked carefully Thank you.